Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain the calculation of current through the galvanometer when the bridge is in unbalanced condition. So this, here we are taking a Wheatstone's bridge. In the previous video, I have explained the same Wheatstone's bridge when the bridge is in balanced condition. That means there we have got R4 is equal to R2, R3 by R1. There, uh, the unknown resistor R4 can be or Rx can be calculated by multiplying the R2, R3 and dividing by R1. Now, when bridge is in unbalanced condition, what we need to do? Okay, that is our task. So, when bridge is in unbalanced condition, we need to take the Thevenin's equivalent circuit by calculating the Thevenin's equivalent voltage and Thevenin's equivalent resistance, we can calculate the current flowing through the galvanometer. Okay. So, I am going to explain now how to calculate this part. This is the voltage VTH. Okay, RTH also there, but I will explain step by step. See, now consider this circuit, the same circuit. See, if you have any doubt, to go to the previous video and check the circuits. Both circuits are same, but here the bridge is in unbalanced condition. So, first we need to assume bridge is unbalanced bridge is unbalanced that means ig is not equal to zero ig is not equal to zero that means it is not an open circuit okay now convert the circuit into thevenin's equivalent network Thevenin's equivalent network. So, how to convert this circuit into Thevenin's equivalent network? Where we know what is our aim? We need to calculate what is the amount of Ig. What is the amount of Ig? We need to calculate. Okay. So, how to calculate the Ig? So, wherever we are having expecting the measurement there, we need to open circuit. So, open circuit the galvanometer. That's why this is a shown in red color. Open circuit the galvanometer. <coughs> now calculate the voltage at this point and calculate the voltage at this point and difference take the difference between these two then it becomes a Thevenin's equivalent okay let us consider this node voltage as EC as the C point is there let us consider the voltage as EC so we need to calculate what is the amount of EC now and similarly we need to calculate what is the value of ED and ETH is equal to EC minus ED, EC minus ED because ETH, the Thevenin's voltage is nothing but open circuit voltage between the two terminals across the load, okay, that means here and here, okay. Now, what is EC, how to write the expression for EC, EC is the voltage from C node to ground, okay, where is the ground, ground is at B. So, from C to ground, that means what is the voltage here, what is the resistance here, R3. Across R3 we are taking, so across R3 by, what is the resistance in that path, R1 plus R3, it is simply like voltage division network, into what is the total voltage applied, Vs. Okay, let it be V or Vs. And similarly, we can write ED as a voltage division network between R2 and R4. So, R4 by R2 plus R3, sorry, R2 plus R4 into Vs. <coughs> so, how can we write this ETH? ETH is equal to EC minus ED, difference between these two. So, take Vs as common, R3 by R1 plus R3, minus R4 by R2 plus R4. This is what the Thevenin's equivalent voltage. Thevenin's voltage. So, now we have got the Thevenin's voltage. Now, how to calculate the Thevenin's resistance? Thevenin's resistance. Thevenin's resistance is nothing but RTH. How to calculate Thevenin's resistance RTH? Can you imagine? How to calculate? 
between the same open circuit terminals here to here we need to take the RTH by short circuiting the current sources and open circuiting the sorry short circuiting the voltage sources and open circuiting the current sources so by short circuit short circuit voltage source and open circuit current source open circuit the current source so there is no current source in our circuit no current source in our circuit and what about the voltage source we have a voltage source that is vs is equal to 0 so what happens when vs is equal to 0 can you read the circuit so read the circuit as it is later you can change so here one resistor here one resistor it is open circuit there are more resistor resistor is open circuit okay so this is the network now we are expecting the RTH in between these two this is R1 R2 R3 and R4 now the same contact which is there from here to here between like A and B these nodes are A and B that can also be converted to this point <coughs> okay and take these leads this outside and this as outside like this how can you draw the same okay now it is the terminal c and it is the terminal d and this is the terminal a and this is the terminal b from this figure from this figure what happens a and b are short circuited a and b are short circuited because vs is equal to 0 when we are calculating the resistance of the thevenin network you should short circuit the voltage source okay so a and b are short circuited so as a and b are opposite to each other you can short circuit like this okay and this resistance is R1, this resistance is R3 and this resistance is R2 and this resistance is R4. So by seeing the circuit diagram, you can easily say R1 and R3 are in parallel, R2 and R4 in parallel and these two are again in series. Again I will redraw this circuit to have better understanding of how these resistors are connected. This is the resistance R1 and this is the resistance R2 sorry R3 and at this point we have one more connection that is R2 and here this is this point is D this point is C and this is the point where A and B are short circuited because A and B are connected together so A and B are at the same point and this is R4 <laughs> now what happens these two okay so this resistance R1 and R3 this is one parallel connection and again this R2 and R4 this is one more parallel connection so how can you redraw this how can you draw this equivalent network so this is r1 parallel r3 and this network is r2 parallel r4 this point is d this point is c okay so again this can be redrawn as single network that is rth therefore thevenin's resistance RTH is equal to Thevenin's resistance RTH is equal to R1 parallel R3 plus R2 parallel R4. Okay. So this is what the Thevenin's resistance and that is the Thevenin's voltage. Now 
what we have got i am again taking e th is equal to v s into what we have got there e s into r3 by r1 plus r3 minus r4 by r2 plus r4 this is what eth and rth is equal to r1 parallel r3 plus r2 parallel r4 now draw this thevenin's equivalent circuit so what is the thevenin's equivalent circuit you might have studied in network analysis <coughs> thevenin's voltage in series with the thevenin's resistance now here is the place where we need to connect the load what is the load which one we have open circuited that we need to connect it here that we need to connect here what is nothing but galvanometer so how to calculate this current ig now ig is nothing but the current flowing through this circuit <coughs> so ig is equal to eth by rth this is what the current flowing through the network okay suppose if the meter is having some internal resistance that internal resistance will also be added <coughs> <coughs> sorry suppose if rg is the internal resistance then ig is equal to <coughs> so this is the measurement of current through the galvanometer when Uh, bridge is an unbalanced condition okay